This is Byron from Denison Yachting. Uh, this is a 2019 Swift Trawler 44 by Beneteau. It's built in France. First thing you should know about this model is that this is the second generation of the Swift Trawler in the 40 foot range. They made a Swift Trawler 42 for about seven years. They built this model from about 2011 to about 2020 and they've since replaced it with a 2020 and so now Swift Trawler 41, which is about the same size boat actually. Um, this boat is 45 foot six, 13 foot nine of beam. And this is a semi displacement hull. So it is capable of going up to 25 knots or so. It has twin engines, they're Volvo D4s. At about 7.8 knots, it's gonna do about 1200 miles of range. So at displacement speeds, once it gets the planing speeds above, I would say about 12 knots, 10, 12 knots, uh, you're gonna get to start to see about 1.1 to 1.0 nautical miles per gallon. That's around 390 to 400 nautical miles of range. This one in particular is a really nice example. It's set, you know, it's made in 2019. So it's one of the last ones made. Um, they have the newer electronics. They have a tender on the back with a nice davit system. Um, and they've got this full enclosure on the flybridge. Those are really nice features. The boat still has the davit system that's original to the boat. That's on the flybridge. So you can put if you want, stand on paddle boards, kayaks, maybe electric bicycles up on the fly while keeping your tender off the back of the boat. I'm just gonna take you through some of these features. This is a pretty well-known boat, but um, I'll, I'll show you the best features of the boat. First things first is there's a nice walkway to starboard. It's a wider walkway. It's about a foot and a half uh, versus about a foot wide walkway on the port side. And it's got this pocket door right here. So you can um, step out the side and you've got this large door to the um, lower helm station. So this is a boat that I've always docked from down below uh, because you've got really good visibility down here. You've got access to bow and stern thrusters and you can just step out the side and then step off the boat onto the dock. I'm just going to open this so you can see what it looks like. There we go. It's really, really convenient. Um, I've single-handed this boat. It's not a hard boat to drive. You've got a really good walkway forward as well with pretty high railings. Um, another feature that I really, really like is the overhang up here. So it gives you some protection, especially up here in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, going aft, got a nice tender. Uh, this is a Olsen a David system. It's electric. Um, it drops the tender into the water. It's really convenient. And um, you've got a swim platform back here. Nice, spacious swim platform. You've got a swim ladder um, right there that comes out, plus an emergency ladder. And back into this cockpit here. Um, First of all, you've got infinity flooring, which is custom flooring done by the owners. It's about three years old, looks terrific. And you've got plenty of space and you've got actually got space to put some chairs and some, like if you wanted to put a bigger table and eat outside, that would be great. This is also, uh, it's got an overhang. Some people have done enclosures. You can see the camera up there. But anyways, people have done enclosures and there's a pocket door that goes, uh, closes this space off if you need to. So you've got a nice um, entrance right here. There's a good gate. In case um, you wet this whole area here with a huge following wave, you'd have to be in really bad weather for this, uh, given how high it is. But uh, if you did, there's really, really good drainage to this boat. And, and the boat is rated for 45 knots of weight and 13 foot seas. That's a category B rating, uh, European CE certification. I'm just gonna step forward and show you. There's the same infinity flooring. It's really nice quality, feels good, and um, gives it a good touch. 
This also keeps it from just having dirty non skin. Um, there's a nice um, sun pad and really good access to go to the foredeck. I've been able to run, you know, walk forward up here um, while the boat is running at 18, 20 knots. Um, so really easy to launch your um, anchor. And then just gonna show you real quick, the starboard walkway. Still really nice, um, good walkway, but I definitely try to dock on the starboard side of the boat. Um, you've got really nice visibility up here, but also here you've got these vertical straight up and down windows. So it's really nice because you get, uh, you don't really get much glare um, and you get less uh, rain onto the windshield. It's really, again, well protected here. Actually, before going inside, we're going to go upstairs. So the stairs here are molded. They're really practical. Just going to zoom out a little bit and show you this nice enclosure. This was done by the owners aftermarket and it's got the hard panels. So they're really nice. And um, the back panel actually slides so that it is like a door. So you can close this off completely. Of course, in the summer, you might want to open up some of these panels. And so when you do that, you've got sliding, you've got sliders over here. So you can slide these like a window. It's really practical. It's a really nice seating area. There is um, teak flooring up here. You could turn the, the helm chairs around. Just looking at this helm right here, you've got the bow and stern thrusters over here. You've got the trim tabs with lights indicators, engine displays. Um, that's gonna give you alarms, fuel burn, all that stuff. Um, and then you've got some controls here for the windlass, the horn, uh, manual bilge pump, autopilot, engine start stop, and then a nine inch Raymarine Axiom um, truck plotter. I'll get into that a little further when we go down below. Really nice upholstery. Um, this boat comes with a little bar here that has a barbecue, an electric barbecue. These owners added this full enclosure and most owners would just not have this panel here, but this is really nice because in the winter, you probably are gonna wanna close it off. Uh, but there is an electric barbecue underneath. There is a fridge and um, they also added another barbecue back there that's propane. Just looking back, the stern, the, the part, the half part of this swim, uh, this, um, sorry, um, this flybridge has the davit system. Um, that is where originally Beneteau and, you know, designed uh, to have the tender and you could put the tender up there if you want. It's got an electric winch um, that's down here and um, that'll help you, um, you know, take everything up and down. If you want to, you can just put other stuff on there. You know, again, kayaks, electric bicycles, whatever, they actually had um, a set of um, paddleboard, I think. So they have the brackets for that. And you can also take the boom off if you wanted to, just to have more space. But certainly you can also just put deck chairs on here. This um, hatch right here actually closes off so that you can actually walk on it. And there's a space right up there that is for a um, life raft. Again, Easy steps going down below. Um, real quick, there is a, a lazarette here and another there. That's actually combined space. Um, there is pl plenty of storage in there, but there's also um, water tanks, some equipment, and the generator. As far as the engine room, that's actually accessed 
um, right over here through a hatch. I'll show you that later if I can. All right, let's go into the interior. So you've got a big salon here. Um, this actually has a couch that converts. Um, there's plenty of light, plenty of uh, natural ventilation. There's opening windows. Um, the table actually can come outside. Um, it's just got a heavy base and it opens up. There's a leaf inside of it. So you can sit four to six people there. Um, port side, there's some storage. There's access to the um, one of the aircon units but also storage and ice maker. Uh, nice TV, Bose sound system. There's a curtain there if you wanna close off the space when you're sleeping. There's uh, storage is here, that's a garbage. And over here on the right is the fridge. There is another fridge or freezer depending on the setting over here that's a drop-in unit. Some people, if you're gonna go cruising long distance, will probably maybe do another uh, fridge freezer um, cooler style, um, maybe on the flybridge or in the lazarette. Uh, double sinks, nice countertop. This boat came with electric cooktop and, and um, electric microwave. You can get this with propane. Um, the conversion can be done. We've, we've done it before. Just looking at this really nice helm station. Um, first of all, there is a false floor here that, that will pop up, but it gives you a, a few inches of height uh, for shorter people. And one thing I really want to point out is a really nice view when you're docking maneuvering. Um, there's not a lot of angles that are hidden from you. Uh, so again, if you're docking, you just step out the side and really, really easy to see what you're doing. You always try, try to dock on the starboard side, whether you're going bow in or stern in. There's a bolster here. That's a really nice feature to, you know, sit back on. And um, this does go forward and aft. Okay. Let's look at the lower helm station a little more. As I mentioned, I would go through the electronics a little bit more. Um, this is the Raymarine Axiom. It's the current generation. Um, there's a video camera. There's a chart plotter, radar, depth finder. Um, all this stuff is pretty straightforward. I also like the music feature. Um, you can actually also connect your phone and have access to your Spotify or even Netflix. Some of these features are just not with the boat because it's more something that Brain Marine provides with it. So pretty, pretty great electronics, um, current generation, as I mentioned. And I like that it's both touchscreen and that you can um, uh, use the toggle switches. So if you're in a big sea, you can just do that. Um, you've got a multifunction, um, a little um, repeater here, actually. Uh, that's got, you know, good sets of information at your fingertips. So depending on your situation, um, this is the uh, autopilot system is pretty straightforward. And you've got a rudder angle indicator. As you can see, but you've also got a manual, um, a nice one here as well. Benito's done a really good job with this and has really improved this helm over the years. Um, bow and stern thrusters, twin controls, engine start and stop, um, some switches. Benito doesn't try to put too many switches. Um, they try to keep it pretty simple. Again, wonderful view. And one thing I really appreciate is that there's opening windows here, there, and this big sliding door that that opens up uh, double wide. Um, there's your stereo. Another window and this uh, sliding door actually can be open just to crack and lock into place if you just want some ventilation. OK, going down below, um, you've got a couple steps. On the starboard side, right away, you've got the guest slash day head. That's a nice head, comfortable. 
Um, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's a good space. Um, there's a shower here. There's a curtain there. And the wood is rated for moisture resistance. All right, we're going to go into the guest cabin, first of all. Um, this boat used to have a washer and dryer um, right over here. Uh, the owners didn't want it, so we took it out. It's still plumbed for it. Uh, but as a result, we have really nice storage. So that could be really, really useful. I'm not a huge fan of these combo washer dryers anyways. And a nice bed, queen size bed. Plenty of storage in here and a lot of natural light. It's an overhead hatch side hatch okay let's look at this uh, forward cabin um got lots of floor space uh nice climb around um this is a custom mattress it's really really you know feels really comfy um it is a bit heavier there's a nice storage underneath and you've got such natural lights and i'm actually going to turn off the lights and this is with the lights off. You see how much natural light you have coming in. That's really a nice feature for this boat. It's not a dark interior at all. Uh, storage wise, you've got uh, this cabinetry, hanging locker right here. And again, under the bed, that whole bed is accessible. It's a really nice feature. Um, there's obviously a smart TVs, modern smart TVs, and you can set it up however you want in terms of whether you want, you know, just TV or you want, um, stream your, your to stream your shows. These owners had a Starlink system and they really liked it. Another cubby. And then you've got the master head. So that's separate. Um, you've got... One section here, when you're taking a shower, this doesn't get wet at all. And then over here, you've got your shower and there's a glass door. And underneath there is the toilet lid. That's it. Thanks for doing this tour with me. Uh, this is a 2019 Swift Trawler 44. Give her one last look. The boat is called Westward Drift. Thanks so much.